Hello everyone. Lot of people asking me in the YouTube comments, uh, bro, I'm I'm ready to come to UK. What is the way to come to UK? I have very little qualification. Whether I have chance to come to UK, I have a driver qualification. Whether I can come to UK or I'm already illegal uh, staying in UK. Uh, what is the chance of getting me into a legal route? Lot of questions have been asked uh, to to me in the, in the YouTube channel. So I have. explain them as much as possible based on the information available publicly so i am not a expert in immigration but i am giving information based on what i am seeing in the internet and also in the public domain hope it helps those who want this information welcome to channel this sundar i pen please like comment and subscribe my channel and also see other videos regarding uk life i have put in many videos hope that will help you to understand what is uk life and then what are things happening in uk so let's get into the video this is regarding mainly the illegal route what are the ways uh, you cannot survive or what are the conditions the government has put in place so that the illegal visa holders cannot survive is the main topic i'm not i'm not saying that illegal people can survive i'm saying that what are the conditions or what are the ways the government is stopping illegal people coming into uk that's the main uh, core subject of this video so many people coming to uk as a student visa inter student visa holders what they will do they will come study most of them get jobs most of them will go back and then get jobs in their country and few the few people coming to uk just to study so that they put their uh, uh, just a name that they have fi- they finished their international course in uk there not of many different reasons to come to uk but a small sec- small size of uh, international students coming to uk just to work and then after that they will abscond the uk and then they will do some other work and then they will survive illegally if they do like that now with the present conditions put in place many things you cannot survive unless you have someone who can safeguard you it literally it means that being a slave to someone then only you can survive those kind of uh, situation as per the current government tight conditions you cannot survive if unless you ha- you are being treated as a slave so what i mean is so you cannot go and apply for a bank because your visa is already expired so you, the bank will not give you any uh, you cannot open any account if you already opened the account you can continue that's one thing second thing definitely you cannot get a job if your visa you are ex- overstaying any visa that's second thing you cannot buy a car you cannot Uh, register in nhs if you already register in nhs that's fine but again if you are going for any major uh, procedure or many uh, many many major uh, med- medical procedure then you will be asked for a proof to show that you are valid in uk and because when you join or when you registered in that uh, particular register nhs register you might be given when is your expiry date of your visa so by that they have started linking all the records now so you if they put your name date of birth all details will come then they will know that you are illegally or you are overstaying and then they will report to the relevant uh, authorities so that they will take care of that so no job if you are overstaying if you are illegal no chance of opening any bank account and then uh, nhs service not available so all the, you cannot get buy a car you cannot get a insurance all those things will be a problem for you if you are Uh, staying illegally or overstaying there are some rules which says that if you stay here uh, for continuously for 10 years i'm not saying legally or illegally if you are staying in uk for continuously for 10 years in various visas then you have a chance of getting a uk ilr but again subject to lot of conditions lot of paperwork uh, checks and everything is needed And the other way what people usually think is let me come as a asylum seeker to uk or a refugee to uk then uh, i can uh, come and settle in uk and then google government will give me asylum so that i will uh, start a new life that's true for people who are coming from uh, countries which uh, have uh, which is going on war like ukraine uh, syria or any uh, afghanistan previously those countries so uk government has a list of countries where there there are some problems happening due to the government due to the uh, terrorist activities their life is very dangerous so those countries uk has a list but what they clearly says that is you have to apply asylum from that country not coming into uk and applying so that that itself is the first check they will do if you are applying from that country there's more chance you'll get that but again 
if you are applying for a safe country which is not in the government list uk government list as a country where there is a problem is nothing is happening then you will not be given asylum that's the main thing and if you are coming saying that there is already my relation is the relative is there i want to join them no the chances are very less unless you are a blood relation that means not brother sister or father mother aunt uncle it's only husband wife and children will be considered if already someone is living in uk and they already have asylum and someone want to join from other country like their husband wife uh, children immediate children then that is chances that they will give asylum visa so lot of people coming through uh, boats crossing the uh, english channel in a very difficult situation risking their lives if those people they will come inside to uk and then they will be their applications will be processed but the chance of getting them is 50 50 only asylum because they have to prove lot of documentation and then only uk government will give uh, asylum to them if they are given asylum the uk government will take care of everything because the rules are very good in uk for asylum seekers valid asylum seekers or refugee seekers but not for illegally coming and asking for asylum so the process will take long but they will be you will be always in kept in loop by the government or the authorities so you cannot escape because your records are already there photos taken fingerprint taken everything is taken so all these things are taken in that case you cannot escape or if you even escape there will be chance that you will come back to the authorities uh, for a job or a medical facility or for insurance for life insurance anything you will be all the records are linked so it's very difficult so i always suggest you if you are asylum seeker or refugee seeker coming from a safe not non safe country then the chances are high that you will get asylum but others then there is a long process going on you have to prove lot of things that your life is in danger in your home country by giving lot of things reasons not that your life in da- life in danger in home country because you have done a criminal activity because of that the police is searching for you then you escape that and come to uk to settle down that's not the case they will check lot of things for that they take too much time uh, illegally living in uk is a nightmare and as i mentioned the start of the video that you have to live as a slave Uh, uh kind of giving 100% of your rights and then hiding the authorities and then living a life which is like living in a cage uh, uh, uh like animal uh, like you don't have a freedom to go out you have to be dependent on someone to uh do a lot of things so i suggest you try a route which is a valid route to get your visa to uk and hope this helps you we'll see in the next video until then take care bye